Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create and assign custom templates to your post by category names. A good example would be if you need to change the header sections with different call to actions or images. So in this case, this right here, this post is tagged with the WordPress category. And so I'm going to show you how you can easily change the call to action section and let's change the background image depending on the categories. To follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro, and I have a link to our affiliate link in the description below. Let's just jump right into it. Here we are on the back end of the website inside the theme builder. And you can see right here, I've already set up a single post template. So inside this post template, I have a generic image up here. Um, I just had this one call to action for uh, SEO goodies. And if you scroll down here, you can see this is just using post title, the post content standard uh, template stuff. So now what I want to do is if you go back here, you can see I have one called WordPress single post. So what, what it's doing is by default, everything is going to get assigned as a post, this template right here. But the good thing is if you go into a new post template, you can see right here where it says instance, it's just going to tag category number 10, which in this case was WordPress. So now I'm going to show you how I was able to build that and how you can assign different templates. Now I'm going to click this edit button here on the WordPress single post. And I'm going to show you how you can tag it to that category. So here we are right here in the back end and let's go ahead and change the background image here so you can easily tell which category the post template is on. So let's go ahead in here and let's just do um, this one right here. I was doing a Halloween thing. So let, this is just an example. Let's just throw this up here. And you can see right here, this is a WordPress category. So I just typed in WordPress just so you can visually see which page template you're on. So what you do is you go down here and right under display conditions, this is where you can assign your categories. So you can see I already have right here. So you do include post in category, and then I chose WordPress. So you would just go ahead, hit save and update. And this blog post right here is already tagged with the WordPress category. So now if I hit refresh, this should change to the uh, background image as I just assigned right here. And it should say WordPress categories like it does. Yeah, and there you go. And let me show you that on the back end right here, this blog post right here is, um, I have a few different ones because I'm going to show you if you have multiple templates, what happens. So in this case, we have blogging, um, one called new category, web design, Elementor, WordPress, and just one called new SEO. So the way it works is, when you go into your theme builder and you start to add all the different categories, what it's going to do is if there's a post like this, where there's multiple categories, uh, of course you can't show, you know, five different category headers up here. So the way it works is whatever the last category is in the list is what it's going to show. So let me show you exactly what that means. I'm going to go ahead and create a whole new one. And I'm going to show you if I assign a different category that is going to override the WordPress one I just created. So if I go into my templates here, I have one already saved. Let me just insert this, hit no. And let's change this to um, a different category. Let's do uh, Elementor. So if we go in here and I type in, close this one out because I'm going to get confused. So if I just go in here and type in um, Elementor category, and let me change the background to something different so you can easily tell which image you're on. Let's just choose this one right here. This was an Iceland. Let's do center center, just so you see something different. So you can always go in here, of course, and change whatever you need, depending on that category. Um, but let's go ahead and hit display conditions, add condition in post category. And then I just need to type in the word Elementor here. So you have to already have these categories in your system. You can't add them within the page right here. You need to make sure that they're already in WordPress and then they'll pop up in here. So let's go ahead and hit categories. So now this is telling the website, if a blog post is tagged with Elementor, show this header instead of the generic one that we assigned originally. So now when we go to the page, when I hit refresh, this should change to that new background image of Iceland and this should say Elementor. Let's go ahead, hit refresh. And yeah, there you go. Again, if the post has multiple categories tagged, it's going to display the very last one in this list. So in this case, that blog post was assigned with WordPress and Elementor. So instead of showing the WordPress one or this original one right here, it's going to show the Elementor one. 
And that's it for this video. I hope that this was helpful because I noticed that not a lot of people know that you can change your pages depending on whatever the blog post category is. So I wanted to make this video to show you how easy it is to display a different page depending on the category name. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.